Hello guys, welcome to another video. Um, today I'm gonna be sharing with you the five type of tattoos you want to practice uh, first. It means the the five type of tattoos that I would recommend to a beginner artist to start. Um, his journey so he doesn't find it that difficult uh, along the way and these are my five uh, tips so the first one is start small what I mean is small scripts small numbers especially if you're gonna do uh, walk-ins or you're gonna practice with your friends uh, first I recommend to do fake skin but let's say you already did that start small don't try to do full sleep black and gray or something too complicated you don't have the knowledge yet to jump right into it because there is complications to it it's not like fake skin you don't know how the skin reacts if it gets too swollen if it starts bleeding if you don't know how to wipe there's so many things so many variables so you need to keep it as simple as possible so the first thing I would recommend is scripts and numerals so what I would do is I would tell my friends hey I'm practicing scripts and numerals let's do some if you want maybe a date maybe a little uh, word or something uh, maybe on the legs or something like that where it can be easy to tattoo and hide like you don't want to get this here right away it's probably not gonna look the best to be honest you might be going too deep or maybe you're gonna fucked up but if you tr go on the lower part it's okay then it's not that um, easy to see uh, right away uh, on an everyday uh, life so yeah just start small have some good friends that want to get tattoos Tell them that you're gonna start practicing and yeah, just start small, scripts or numerals, basic. Then a little bit more challenging would be fine line and curve lines. Fine line usually, especially women, like fine line tattoos, so it's a good way to understand the skin and how to stretch how to do nice cursive uh, scripts how to run your machine if you need to go faster if you need to go slower it depends on the type of machine you have so yeah that's that I would recommend for sure because you don't need a really strong machine that can like a 14 round shader or something like that that you need a heavy machine but to do fine line you don't need a, a, a really powerful machine and it's easier to get so I would recommend doing a fine line and for the curve I mean for example waves like sea waves or like the una lome like or circles or things like that is gonna help you a lot it's gonna help you to connect when you end a line in a curve way and reconnect it so yeah I would do that uh, as a second step the, f the third one it's uh, the thick line work because now that you manage 
how to apply ink on the skin you want you're gonna see that now you want to go thicker sometimes so instead of building the line let's say if it's something really thick instead of building them and going over and over it you can just do one simple line and that's it but for that you need a stronger machine maybe I'm not gonna get into detail of what type of machine or something like that maybe somewhere in the future but do some like traditional but without shading first just the outline simple bold outline because it's really different doing fine line than doing thick lines you need to be super confident pull you in one stroke maybe pass a little bit again but with one stroke should be enough but you need it's a challenge it's a challenge uh, it's way different than doing fine line the fine line you go super easy you can go fast so it's different techniques so that would be the third step and the next one I was hesitating if if it's harder or not but I think like symbols let's say kanjis or something that has points and it's heavy black it's hard to to make it really nice because you don't want to fill fill it in just with a really thin line because you can number one it's gonna be really hard to fill in and you because of your own experience you might uh, damage the skin a little bit or you might damage the skin but if you combine doing the outline and then fill it in you can fill it in with a thicker outline right and that's gonna help you with edges and applying black start small then you can do bigger ones like uh, what's the name I just forgot the name like Maori symbols that they have really long uh, lines and then really heavy blacks that's gonna be like uh, like tribal yeah like tribal you can practice a lot of how to apply large large areas of black and the my fifth uh, tip would be shading because it's not just black and not just applying lines if you know how to apply shading properly you're gonna be on the next level there are many ways to apply the shading it also depends on how big the tattoo is and how smooth do you want to go but if you control your machine really well I know some artists are gonna debate on this you can do black and gray only with black if you control your machine really well you don't need to dilute the the ink just barely touch the skin and you're gonna be shading like traditionally but it's really hard let's say if you have an area that it's a specific intensity of gray I'm talking about black diluted with water and I'm not talking about packing the color gray just to make that clear if you want a specific tone on a large area then yes you can dilute the water and just pack it but that's that's gonna take experience try and errors knowing your solutions whatever but I would start really small I would do the traditional and just with black shade with a magnum slowly barely pass it just like a massage barely touch it see what happens pass one time wipe it pass another time wipe it 
see what happens don't just do this and hope that it's it's smooth just see how slowly it starts building the shading and then eventually if you're gonna do black and gray try the solutions try the how does it look when you dilute the water that i can explain in another video how to do uh, the solutions how do i dilute my inks and what happens if you pack the ink uh, with water because it creates a uh, less intensity of black let's say if i dilute um, let's say 50% water and 50% ink at the beginning if you pack it on the skin fresh it's gonna look black black you're barely gonna see a difference only if you have like a experience you're gonna see a barely difference but when it heals it looks completely different so that might shake you off like oh I thought I packed black but it doesn't look black or I thought it was gonna look light that comes with experience but just to keep it simple just for now uh, if you're a beginner start shading just with black that's it just use black because I, I'm thinking you're gonna do a small tattoos I'm not if you were gonna do bigger ones okay but I'm assuming you're a beginner so do all of all of your tattoos just with black trust me just barely touch the skin and solve yourself your, the headache of diluting just be really gentle and that's it uh, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in the next one